today I'm going to show you how to create a canvas wrap. So you can do this yourself in Photoshop, but you can also download a tool from photoshop-plugin.com forward slash canvas.php. What you do when you get here, you download this script. The script looks like this. You can click on it or you can go file, oh, sorry, Photoshop file scripts and then browse and find the script. So this one is the one install canvas.js.jsx. Let's open it, say yes, and uh, OK. Now uh, we go to Window and Actions, and now we can see here in our Actions we have a new uh, folder here with a new action. We play this action, and then it's going to create the canvas. But what I like to do is I like to press Command R on the keyboard, and I like to make a little bit of a guide. So what I'm doing is I'm dragging the ruler from the side, dragging snapping it to the side of the canvas and that's going to give me uh, some guides which I can work with later on so now I have this action as we talked about earlier and I'm going to press play and here it's a uh, great here I can choose how many millimeters I can enter in order for each side so if I want two centimeters I'll write 20 and 20 for each side if I want four centimeters I'll write 40 millimeters and 40 millimeters. Now I have two options to do mirroring and content aware. So let's try both of them. First mirroring. And that looks absolutely great. I'm going to go to history. I'm going to create a snapshot and I'm going to undo my snapshot here. Great. And now let's go ahead and press canvas once again. And this time we're going to choose content aware and press OK. So what it does is made a select selection for me and now I must press shift and delete and choose from here contents. Let's choose content aware and press OK. And that's going to fill in the layer as Photoshop sees fit to fill it in. And there you have it. I'm going to press command D on the keyboard to deselect, command H to hide. So now I can see guides of where the image is supposed to be and where the canvas actually wraps over. So as you can see here, it's not exactly perfect. So in situations like these, I'm going to take it this way and I'm going to take my stamp tool. I'm going to make sure that the hardness is 100%. In your case, it can be different. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select maybe somewhere over here and I'm going to stamp away little piece here and just like that I've fixed a portion of the image which I didn't think was so great and here we go that's how you make a canvas wrapping very simple